Welcome to How to Cook That, I'm Anne Reardon and this week my baby boy turned three and his favourite thing at the moment is fire trucks. If I was your mum and you could have any cake that you liked, what would you choose? A fire truck. A fire truck cake. Let me know in the comments. But to make the fire truck cake you need to print out the template which you can get from the shop on howtocookthat.net and I'll put a link to that in the description below this video. Now, firstly, you need to make your cakes. And if you regularly watch How to Cook That, then you'll know that I usually bake the cakes in flat trays and then stack them up. Your other option is to bake it in a large tin or a box like I'm doing here, and then cut it into layers. The advantage of doing it this way is you get neat and perfect layers. The disadvantage is that for a cake this big to bake, it takes a long time, and it also tends to get overcooked on the edges and the top and the bottom. And that means you have to cut all that off and throw it away. So you can choose which way you would rather bake it. Use the template for the top view and cut rectangles of cake. If you used the one big tin method to bake it like I did, then cut off any overcooked parts and then use a cake leveller or a knife to cut it into layers. Stack them up to make the level of the back of the truck and then fold your top template on the line and cut another layer of cake to the right length for that top shorter section. Then make your frosting of your choice. If you go to the frosting's taste test video, you'll see recipes there for seven different frosting recipes. And today I am using the French buttercream one. Use your template for the top of the cake and cut a sturdy piece of cardboard in that shape. Then cover it in foil and tape it into place. Cut some extra rectangles of cardboard and stack them to the height of under your truck so that they can support the cake. Tape those together and then stick them firmly into place on your cake board. You want to line them up with where the wheels of the cake will go so that the wheels will hide those supports. Add some tape and then place the cake board on top of that. Put a thin layer of buttercream onto your cake board and then add your first layer of cake. Then add more frosting, another layer of cake, and if you are not using the cake the same day, then add some simple syrup to each cake layer because that helps to keep the cake really moist. And simple syrup is just made by heating equal quantities of sugar and water in a saucepan until the sugar is dissolved, and then let that cool down. And then just use a pastry brush to dab some of it onto your cake. Continue to stack your cakes and your frosting until you get to the height of the back of the truck. Then add your smaller piece to the front. Now what you need to do is put the side template over your cake and follow the template to shape the cake at the top and the front. Now if you don't trust yourself to keep the knife in a straight line, you can print two templates and put one on each side of the cake so you can line the knife up with both of them. Now you need to cover the entire cake in a layer of frosting and smooth it as much as you can and then put that in the fridge for an hour to firm up. While it's chilling, we're going to make some of the fondant details. Firstly, to make the ladder, roll out some white fondant fairly thickly and cut a straight line using a pizza cutter down one side. Now, I've made my own rectangle cookie cutter here and I show you how to make your own cookie cutter on the Twitter dessert video. If you don't want to make your own cutter, then you can just use a knife to cut these out by hand, but it will just take longer and they won't be quite as even. Once you've cut them, then use a ruler and a pizza cutter to cut down the other side to make it match, and then leave that out to one side to dry. Cut the side panels from the template and roll out some light grey fondant, and using your template as a guide, cut around each one. If you go to the fire truck cake post on the website, it will detail there how much you need of each colour of fondant, and I'll link you to the frosting recipes and the cake recipes and everything else that you need. Then use a ruler to indent lines all the way up each one so that they look a bit like a roller door. Take some more of the fondant and roll a thin snake and using a little bit of water attach it to the lower edge of the roller door. Then roll a tiny ball of fondant and add one to each end of the handle. Then repeat that so that you have panels for both sides of your fire truck so you should have six all together. Now we're going to make the small square panels. You can cut the template out of the paper or you can just guess and make a couple of grey squares. Next to make the horns for the top of the cake. Take a ball of light grey and place it on the bench top and then gently roll it between your fingers, applying more pressure in the middle to make it narrower there. By keeping it on the bench top it helps keep the base of the horn flat. You need to make two of these and then leave them upright to dry. 
Roll out some more grey and cut two circles using a drinking straw and we'll add these to the horns when we add it to the cake. Moving on to the dark grey fondant, we want to make the small square and then the rounded rectangle. To do that, cut a rectangle and then just trim a small amount off each corner. Then to make the door handle, cut a thin rectangle, then put an indent across it on one side and then a couple more lengthwise. Now for the side mirrors, roll a ball and cut it in half, place it flat on the paper and smooth out the shape and then turn it onto one side the way that it will sit on the cake and flatten it out. Repeat those so you have two sets, one for each side of the cake. Then cut some thin strips for the windscreen wipers, bend them to the right shape and cut them to the right length and leave them there to dry out. If you will be short on time on the day when you're making the cake, then you can make all of these fondant details up to a month beforehand and leave them flat on baking paper on a tray somewhere that they won't get bumped. Then once they have dried out, you can put them in an airtight container. For the small bit at the front, roll a little snake and then just cut it in half. Now to make the hose attachments at the back of the cake, cut three circles out of dark grey fondant using a straw, then using a small round piping tip, indent each one with a little circle. Now cut two small rectangles the size shown for the back corner of the cake, and then cut another rectangle in the size of the panels on the back of the cake. Now you should be able to take the cake out of the fridge, roll out some red fondant and working quickly, lift it over the cake and then lift and smooth down the fondant on each side. So just lifting it up and then smoothing it down. At the corners of the fire truck, you can either keep using that method, lifting and smoothing, or if you're having trouble with that, then an easier option is to fold the join flat and squeeze it together with your fingers to form a good join and then cut off the excess using scissors. It's not quite as smooth that way but that is an easier method if you're having trouble. Take a ball of fondant and gently rub it over the cake to smooth out any lumps and bumps. Using a knife trim off the excess fondant from along the base of your cake and then roll out some white fondant and cut out the size of the windscreen and put that into place. Cut a white strip for along the front and then using a small amount of water attach it to the cake then use a ruler to straighten it up once it's on the cake. Cut some light grey headlights and stick those on top of your white strip on either side. Cut a strip of white fondant and then cut some thinner strips of red and lay the red across the white to make stripes. Trim off the excess red and then cut another rectangle of red in the size shown for the front of the cake and then make some indents down the front. Add that to the front of the cake and then add your stripy piece just below it on top of the white strip there. Just above the stripes add your two little grey bits that we made earlier and then add your windscreen wipers using a little bit of water to stick all of those on. Next, cut a thin strip of yellow and place it across the front of the cake, then trim it to the right length and use a knife or a ruler again to straighten it up. Then roll out some blue and using your straw, cut out circles and place them on the front for headlights. Take some more blue and roll two cylinders, applying more pressure at one end to make them thinner at the top and then place them on top of your cake. Roll out a thin snake of red and wrap that around the base of each light. Now to make our door. Cut the shape out of red, then flip your template over and cut another one. Then cut out the window shape and cut out the window out of white fondant and place it on your door. You can then add your door handles that we made and the side mirrors to the top of each window. Cut out a circle of blue, I'm using a piping tip to do this, and add it to the door. Then roll a tiny ball of yellow and place that on top. Use the tip of your knife just to indent and drag it out to make it look more like a diamond or a star shape. Add the horns to the top of your cake and then add the little circles that we made with them just behind them there. Carefully place your door onto the side of the fire truck, then using a little bit of water to make it stick, add the side panels into place and the grey squares that we made. You can add a yellow circle into the centre of the dark grey square. 
Now on the back of the track, add the two dark gray rectangles that we made, then cut a rectangle from red and add the fire hose attachments and then place that on the back of the track. Roll out some thin yellow snakes and cut them to the size shown on the template. Then roll out some blue and cut out the shield shape. Place the shield over the yellow and then take a small ball of yellow and place it in the middle of the shield and indent it just like we did on the side doors. Add the shield to the side of the cake and make another one for the other side. Then add your two grey rectangles to the back of the cake and add two yellow snakes to one of them and a grey snake on the other one. Just like we did for the front of the cake, roll out a strip of yellow fondant and crisscross that with red. Then trim off the excess and wrap it around the back of the track. Then use your knife to make it look nice and straight. To make the wheels, roll out a strip of black fondant and use a fork to indent it all the way along. Then flip that over and take a mini Oreo and roll it up. Trim it off when you get all the way around and gently press the fondant around the edges of the Oreo. Now using a piping tip, cut a circle of red and place that into the centre of each wheel. Next, roll out some white and cut circles and then cut semicircles from the edges and place them onto the red of the wheels. You can repeat that until you have six wheels. Add those to the side of your track and if you want to, before you add the wheels, you can put some black fondant on the cake platter to make it look like a road like I've done here. Cut a thin strip of dark grey and place it over the wheels, bending it down at the front and the back. To make the fire hose, you can either roll a snake by hand, but if you want it really smooth and even, then a fondant extruder will make the job quicker and easier. Place the fondant in the tube and twist the end. To make the end of our fire hose, roll out a cylinder of fondant and make it thinner at one end. Then using a knife, make indents around it and then trim it to the right length and using a dry paintbrush, brush it with gold luster dust. Now I've added a couple of dark gray strips to the top of the cake and also to the sides of the road. You can do that too if you want to. And then color your leftover frosting green and smear it over the edge of the cake platter for grass. To give the grass that look of not looking like smeared frosting but looking more like grass, just get a fork and put that through the frosting, just dipping it in and pulling it back up until you're happy with it. Then add your hose attaching it to the back of the fire truck and then add the gold nozzle to the end. Roll out some teardrop shapes in blue and you can add them to the end of your hose. Then get your fireman to check the cake is okay and you can then store it in the fridge until you need it. Just before serving it to the table you can add the ladder and if your fireman wants you can add a fireman Sam toy to the front like I did as well. And then it's party time. If you found this tutorial helpful, make sure you click on the thumbs up and share the video for me. Subscribe to How To Cook That for more cakes, chocolate and desserts and put all your requests in the description below. Have a great week and I'll see you on Friday.